All right, let's get started. Um, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to come and have a, a look at this webinar today, um, covering off the Data Hub, uh, which is a new product for us here at Predict Wind. Um, my name is Nick Olson. I'm the marketing manager at Predict Wind. We have uh, a few of our support team legends on the Q&A. So if you have any questions, feel please feel free to uh, ask those que questions in the Q&A box. Uh, they'll do their best to answer them. If they can't answer them now, we will email everybody that registered for the webinar afterwards to uh, with, with the frequently asked questions and any other questions we feel that need to be answered. Um, Obviously, the Data Hub is a brand new product, and um, so we're learning too. Uh, we've we've had them for a while and been uh, testing them, so we do know a fair bit about it. But um, it's it's the type of product that's actually going to have more use cases than what we can actually think of at the moment. So yeah, just a little bit about um, just in case anyone's wondering, here is a box that the Data Hub comes in. So a little bit about why we uh, started, uh, why, why we made the Data Hub. Um, we don't, you know, Predict Wind is, a, is a, a SaaS company, so software as a service. Products are not something we really delve into uh, very often. Um, the products that we do have, <laughs> that we sell are uh, the Iridium Go, the YB3i, and we have some merchandise, and now the Data Hub. And, you know, we don't enter into any of those things without really good reason, uh, because our, 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 our goal is to, you know, deliver you uh, the best weather data and tools that we can around, um, you know, keeping you safe at sea, essentially. And um, so, but the Data Hub, we sort of felt that there was uh, a, a, a gap there that we could better serve uh, our customers with a particular product. And so that's uh, why the Data Hub came to be. Um, and as we do with other <clears throat> products we sell, it's all about you getting uh, with the data or making your life easier around weather. So that's sort of the, the basic premise. Uh, the, the sort of the, the first real feature that we um, want to Sort of focus on with the data hub is the GPS tracking. Uh, so what the sort of the need was there is that people were, um, you know, we have a lot of people using uh, Iridium Goes and other satellite connections, and they are using that with our GPS tracking when they're crossing oceans. And then often people will uh, be at a destination for you know, any, any period of time, you know, three months to a year, and they want to turn off uh, their, um, their GPS, their, their uh, Iridium satellite connection or, or whatever satellite connection they have, uh, because they might have a local cell service that they're using or LTE. And there wasn't an easy way for people to continue their tracks. And uh, the GPS tracking people wanted to be able to you know, keep that tracking going so people can see where they are, what they're doing, keep their blog post, post going, all that sort of thing. And so the Data Hub does fill that need. It will track you the whole time um, and store that data um, on the device. And, uh, and, and so, you, you know, and, and whenever you connect to a Wi-Fi connection, uh, with, so maybe some of the time you're out of cell phone range, it will... Uh, whenever you connect, it will upload that data that it's saved. And that would be the same if you were on a high-speed uh, satellite connection. If you connect to that and you have uh, the Predict Wind IP address whitelisted, it would up upload um, all your track for, you know, for let's say it was a day that you, that you hadn't done it, and so it would update all those positions. So... That's it's you know that, that that was sort of the core. It's core, one of its core functions initially uh, that we thought of, and um, you know because there was a real a lot of want for that um, from our customers. So we um, yeah, so that was sort of the initial trigger. Um, another thing that sort of come to light recently is that once more of these Certus One Hundred products come online, 
um, the data hub's going to be able to track with those. Not, you know, none of that, none of those really have have an automated tracking service with them, and the data hub um, is going to be able to connect to that uh, the, those types of devices. So I'll just I'm just out of my box. This is my box. Should should have watched some of my kids unboxing uh, YouTube videos before I did this. Uh, but yeah, it comes in the box, and this is the unit um, for size reference. Uh, this is my my iPhone um, 13. Uh, you know, this is a little iPhone, so it's it's actually a pretty small device, um, and you can connect it onto a bulkhead um, or similar, and um, and it has some lights on the front to. Um, to, to give you the indication of what it's doing. Uh, it has on the back here, it has its, um, sorry, I'm not very good at holding that in front of the camera. Uh, it's power cable uh, where you can plug your uh, external uh, GPS into if you wanted to, if you weren't connecting that through your NT, uh, N2K backbone. Uh, our WAN, LAN and our USB, so you can plug all sorts of, um, you know, different, uh, devices in through the USB. Yeah, so it's a it's pretty cool. It's quite universal. So yeah, I just mentioned GPS tracking. I think I will go into the screen share so we can just talk through some of the points that we have um, sort of listed in our, our, our website uh, about what we do with it. I mean, but you can see here even in this uh, picture behind me that it's doing lots of uh, lots of different things. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's sort of our initial sort of introduction was we were all about GPS tracking and then we, uh, there's, there's all the, some other um, really cool things that it can do. And um, so what uh, another really useful feature is that sort of when you, when you are doing coastal cruising or, um, you know, you go to a particular location and you're using a uh, a, a different, uh, you know, you might have a, a SIM card from from that play, uh, you know, that location, and often those SIM cards are locked to one device, and so you might only have one device that has data. So, with that cell phone data, you can actually connect that phone to the data hub, and the data hub will then distribute uh, the the Wi-Fi from. Uh, the data from that that device so you're not locked to one device anymore you can actually uh plug you can plug your phone in or you could connect it via wi-fi so you can have the wi-fi coming in and wi-fi going out um or you could plug it into into the unit uh, via your fire wire cable or um, micro usb so that's pretty cool that you can actually you know be somewhere and then you can share that uh data connection around the boat. You can put a password on that Wi-Fi connection so that you're not um, uh, you know, sharing it around the entire bay um, or Anchorage, wherever you are. And uh, so that's, you know, that was, you know, another uh, a use case. So that's, you know, sort of, that's why we say it can broadcast the internet is that if you have data coming in, you can then have your data going out. If you wanted to, and you had a high speed data uh, satellite connection, you could potentially do that too. Uh, definitely some caveats around that though, as far as firewalls. Um, so what else, what should we talk about next? Uh, logging data. So it can log, the data hub can log and save all of your NMEA data. So uh, whether it's, there's two, two ways there. There's your GPS data, which has a bunch of uh, information with it, or it can just log everything from your NMEA network. Um, so there's quite a few applications there. You know, if you uh, uh, for racing boats, uh, you may want to log that data, all that NMEA data, and then analyze it in whatever form you choose. Um, but you know, for those of us that are cruising, um, there's, you know, there's, there's lots of reasons why you may want to log that data, you know. For instance, uh, you know, insurance is difficult uh, for, for many boats these days, for many people in, in, in different countries. So if you have a log of all your data and something, you know, you do have an accident of some description, uh, you can at least, you could have a log of this data 
and say, well, okay, well, we, we weren't doing anything stupid. Or actually, if you look at it, you know, we, we got hit by, a, you know, a thunderstorm or whatever. It's just, it's a, it's, a, it's a backup for you and something that you could actually have to sort of show where you were and what the conditions were at that time. So that, uh, you know, that could, <laughs> that could be a big, a big saver of, of, of that event ever, ever happened. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned, there's lots of, being able to log that data means that there's all sorts of analysis that can be done if you so wished. Um, this is not, not my area of expertise, but uh, that, you know, remote support. I know that when in the beta testing for this, uh, one of the, um, one of our beta testers had a problem with his, I can't, don't remember which brand of chart plotter it was, uh, but anyway, the, the, the tech person from, let's say it was BNG, I can't remember, it was BNG or Romarine, was able to log in to their, remotely log in to their NMEA network and see what the, what the chart plotter was spitting out and what it was. But you can get, uh, allow people to remotely access uh, that, um, you know, that data. Um, so what I, I probably should have mentioned earlier with the uh, GPS tracking, uh, sort of the, this is going to, the data hub is going to allow us to do a little upgrade there. Um, we are going to be able to, on your tracking page, people will be able to see what the wind speed is that you're getting off your boat. Um, and so that's pretty useful, especially if you had a, um, you know, someone, someone on shore, perhaps helping you with, with your weather or, or routing, um, you know, they can actually see what you've, you've got. Um, so it's pretty, that's, yeah, we think that's gonna be nice to see, even just being able to see what other, other boats have got is, um, is pretty cool. Uh, so the pricing, it's $2.99 US. Um, we, it was going to be more, and we thought that we, you know, we really just want people to be able to, um, you know, as I said at the start, our primary objective is, um, you know, weather. And so this allows people to better use our services. And then if you don't have a connection for you into your um, NMEA network, you can get this little extra pack to, to plug you into your um, NMEA network backbone. I uh, mentioned GPS tracking, and that's, if you've never seen it before, uh, it's the GPS tracking that Predict Wind offers. Um, it's pretty cool. These are the blog posts. Um, yeah, really, um, re a really neat feature. Uh, yeah, GPS, uh, the, the, the unit has its own GPS inside. As I mentioned before, you can connect an antenna to it. It does come with a little stubby antenna. Um, <clears throat> or you can, yeah, as I say, you can connect it to uh, your, a, 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 its own antenna, um, or you can plug it into your uh, NMEA network. So you've got a really accurate GPS. You can then broadcast that GPS. Let's say you had an app on your phone, and you could connect to the data hub and have that uh, GPS data into your, into your device. Um, it can also... Uh, broadcast the local, uh, the, the AIS data that's coming in through your N2K network, if you have a, a, uh, a, a, an AIS transponder. Um, so it can also put that into an app if you so wished. So let's transmit wind data. We talked about that. We talked about broad broadcasting GPS data, internet. Again, we talked about that. Um, and this is boat polars. So obviously all about weather and boat polars are super important to uh, your weather routing. And something that a lot of people um, do find hard or, you know, can get wrong sometimes. And, you know, the better your polars, the better your routing. Um, so this is not ready yet on our side. We have a very clever uh, developer uh, that works for us that is currently coding up that it's going to, uh, a system that is going to 
take the data from that you've gathered from your boat by, by the data hub being plugged into your uh, N2K network, and you're going to be able to, that data is going to punch into the system and it's going to generate some polars for you. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot smarter than, um, than, than just oh, some numbers and putting it together. It's actually uh, going to, you know, for each, it's, the data hub can record everything on your boat. So using all of those factors, it's going to um, generate your polar. So probably better than what any of us can do uh, by what we think, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to generate uh, these polars for us. And so that's going to be a really neat feature um, and yeah, should be available in the next quarter. Uh, we mentioned logging data. Again, lots of uh, reasons why you would want to do that. Um, and, and yeah, so just with the logging data, there is a, um, that, that can actually be accessed remotely. So someone could log in uh, with, with the right credentials, could log into the data hub and pull that data out while you're at sea, if, if, you, if you had a, uh, if you're connected. And, or it is saved inside the device. It has a, a memory card inside there. Um, if you wanted to, you could put a massive memory card in there and, you know, record a, a data for, you know, a year or, or whatever. Uh, we mentioned the remote support, the remote diagnostics. Uh, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, here's a couple of our beta testers and that really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, technical, technical stuff. Down the bottom here, we do have our data hub manual. Um, if you want to really take a deep dive into it, jump into there um, and, and look at the technical aspects, uh, you can reach out to our support team and ask them questions. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Oh, for the tracking, if, if you get a data hub, all you need to do is scan the QR code on the back of the unit, and that will actually take you to the web page where you just set up your uh, Predict One tracking. So I think that is about all I had to say, unless um, anyone on, uh, on my panel wants to tell me something else I need to cover. Um, but yeah. I think that's pretty much it. We will we will send out a, a recording of this, and we will also send out um, a, the, the the commonly asked questions if if there was any. So that's pretty much me. Is Kieran or Barry? Is there anything else that you want me to talk to? Sorry, Nick. No, that's awesome. I think we've had a couple of questions. Not many. I think you've covered everything. Um, and great detail and if anyone has any questions just contact us on support we're um we're all learning this product so <laughs> it's exciting cool okay thank you karen and uh thank you everybody for taking the time to come and listen to this day and uh today and i hope you have learned something thank you very much